What a view. This has got to be one of my favorite parking spots, boondocking spots for sure. And uh, we're just going to start our day with a little eco-friendly toothpaste and a little brush. Well, he's not being eco-friendly today, but I forgive you. You want the last bit of cinnamon eco-friendly toothpaste? Dude, thanks for supporting. <laughs> Alright, thanks. You got it. Appreciate that. Mother Earth appreciates you. I hope so. Eco all day. This place is a jam. <laughs> we just stopped to uh, <clears throat> maybe buy all of our moms some jams. We'll see. They have uh, some amazing stuff in here, so if you guys are cruising up, if you're <laughs> cruising on the, the highway, you definitely got to stop by. Look at this place. There's a lot of stuff. say we uh we just can't not find buses ever ever since this thing started with w the day we met we were looking for buses pretty much They're so everywhere. they are and uh we met up with steven who invited us over to check out his uh schoolie build so uh thank you so much for having us over by the way um so this is josh would you feel comfortable driving a big old bus like this i mean there's no way i could do it but it looks amazing <laughs> you got to work your way up yeah that's for sure first. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> tell me your name again. Terry. Terry. Cool. So we were over with uh, Stephen and Terry. But look at how much space this thing has. It makes me a little bit envious. But then again, we were saying earlier, you can't have it both ways. You can't have this much space and have a small thing. So you either go big or you go small. So this is this is very cool. I can't wait to see the updates on the bid, the the build. You have to keep me posted. We'll do that. Awesome. Yeah. From home, we're back at uh, AM Solar, and also we made a friend with the the bicycle dude or a motorcycle dude behind us, but uh, you can't see him. I'll, I'll introduce him. I think he's a fan of Josh's. Following you soon. I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, you I, will. I, I, just just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> every day. Every, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll subscribe. Yeah, yeah first thing you, you were yelling at us, man. I didn't know like what was going on. Yeah, it was so hard to hear you, dude. Your bike is so loud, and yeah. you were like, rah, 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 and I was like, yeah. yeah. That's a really cool bike. I like that. Yeah. So you pop in wheelies and stuff. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> All about that wheelie so, life. So yeah, yeah, I bet. It looks like it. We found the problem, which was, we believe, this uh, refrigerator. Because the fridge has been not working. And additionally, it's been, I don't know, it's been causing something here in layman's terms. And so this has been going off. So we, uh, Mitch over here, AM Solar. Hey. Hello again. And thank you. Uh, went through the whole system, all the outlets. Outlets are perfect. Muso did a great job. Thank you, Muso. So we determined that the faulty fridge is causing the problem. So we're going to do a little return at Home Depot for that. And then what Mitch also did was he installed uh, something on the solar to go from the solar to the engine battery. So if I'm ever parked for a long time and don't drive Dan the Adventure Bus, which is not something I do, as you know, it will charge, it will give a nice little trickle to the engine batteries. So, I'm totally set. If I'm driving, I get energy to the battery. If there's sun, I get engine to the battery. If I'm sitting, I get battery energy to the battery. You know what I'm saying. It's just going to be the most awesomest system ever. And yes, awesomest is a word. This is a moment of truth. This is my homemade shower system right here. Uh, we're going to fill it for the first time. I'm just using uh, some kind of... A filter which then goes into the holding tank back there um, so <laughs> dude cross your fingers this, <laughs> this is nuts man I'm putting 46 gallons of water in my bus oh it's gonna weigh it down you think it'll be okay I think I think it'll be okay I just don't want it to like burst inside and, and oh, create a mess that's true. with all those hardwood floors look it's going right there you see that there's the water oh, yeah, I see it it's coming in here it's coming in hot Oh, this is good. I know, that's a lot of water, right? That is. And then watch, this is a pump. And what does that do? 
gonna... That, that pulls the water and then puts it into this, and then from there up to here. Shower, baby! Shower! Shower time! Well, we gotta get propane and then shower time. I gotta say, this is uh, a little on the nerve-wracking side, putting water in the bus for the first time, but, you know, if I install this thing correctly, it shouldn't be leaking, so let's just cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't leak. All right, next stop, we're gonna try and get a pr that elusive propane hose. Let's see if we can do it. Good news and bad news. I don't see a propane hose. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is uh, we have water. The bad news is we can still have the propane thing hooked up. They don't have the right hookups for this for some reason. Yeah, that's hashtag bus life. That's what happens when you make your homemade rig. Um, so, well, we got water though. That's a good thing. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, can you do anything with that? You can. I mean, it'll be like a cold shower. Okay, that's not yeah, bad. it's all right. So, anyways, cold showers from here on out. This is called Belknap. It's not my favorite hot springs I've ever been to, but they do have a shower if you guys have seen my other two other videos here. Uh, so even though we do have a cold shower, they got a hot shower. And for the price, honestly, it's a pretty good deal. I'm not gonna lie. I forget how much it is, like 10 bucks or something, or 12 for two hours or something. It's pretty affordable, it's pretty reasonable. The only thing I don't like is that they chlorinate the water slightly. Um, however, the positive side of things is that sometimes the natural hot springs are so freaking nasty. There's hair in the water. There's like algae and dirt and God, God knows what else is in that water. So at least it's relatively clean. It's pretty clean. It's just a little bit on the chlorinated side. So, you know, it's all right. You excited? Dude, I've never been to a hot spring. So never? It's my first time for everything and it's documented on your channel. Damn. Wait, no, you, well, we did go to the Mammoth Hot Spring. I never went, though. I never That's went. true, you didn't go in the water. That, that one's like a legit hot spring. This is a natural hot spring. This is a little bit more commercialized. That's so, okay. yeah, it's alright. Beef jerky. Yeah. yeah. Sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> let me get my thinking cap on. We, uh, we entered a uh, national forest area, uh, and we're just gonna park somewhere on the side of the road, basically. There's a little creek. I was telling these guys the advantages of national forest land uh, being able to uh, basically park for like up to 14 days straight. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna give it a try. And um, you, got, you guys pumped up? Yeah, I'm pumped to just park wherever I go. <laughs> I'm just Who looking knows? out for Slenderman. All right, well. sick. So this is a one lane, one lane road with turnout. So essentially anywhere is, uh, a good spot. What do we have over here? Oh, looks like some logging a little logging operation thing. All right, not that you can really uh, see much, but I just want to show you. We are in the forest right now on uh, public land. We just pulled over, parked right there on the side of this uh, dirt road, um, which is off of a uh, main forest road back there. And um, this is the situation. We're just drying towels from the hot springs. Had a nice time in the hot springs. We got the lights going. Got a quesadilla inside. Just living the bus life. And uh, you know, this is it. This is home tonight. And uh, just want to say thanks for watching. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. And uh, you know, if anybody's out there is uh, thinking about joining the bus life, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's alright.